Hi there guys, Adam from The Beard Solution here, back with another video in my post Minoxidil journey update. It's been seven months now since I stopped using Minoxidil for facial hair growth, and as you can see, my beard is still here. So without further ado, let's get into this month's update. All these rappers faking, I tell them tuck your chain in, cause where my youngest came in, I swear they had him skating. So guys, before I get into my progress update slideshow section, uh, there's a few things that I wanted to cover off. The first of which being, no, I am not going bold, and no, my hairline is not receding because of my minoxidil usage. This is called a mature hairline, of which I've had since about the age of 18, 19 years old. I'll actually put some photos up for you to see. And my hairline has not changed since then. And like 95% of Caucasian males, which I happen to be, I have a mature hairline. Now that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm suffering from male pattern baldness or that I'm gonna go bald. Uh, in fact, as I've pointed out, the majority of white men, Caucasian men, do have mature hairlines. And that is where the juvenile hairline, which if you you raise your eyebrows usually, the top of where your eyebrows are, uh, or where the, the, the little crease in your forehead is, is probably where your junior hairline was, or your juvenile hairline was, uh, and then a centimetre or two back from that is what is typically your mature hairline, which is what my hairline is. Anybody that thinks that this is a receding hairline is overly paranoid and really needs to get their shit together and actually research a little bit before they make stupid comments. Uh, the reason why some of you probably think that it looks like my hairline's receded is that I always had my hair in a French crop style, which means that my hair was longer at my top of my head uh, and I used to sweep my hair across, which would cover a lot of this area here. And also because this area was longer here and this area was longer here, it would cover some of this area here. You can actually look if you go back in some of my older videos uh, you can still still see my hairline but you can see that there is some hair that's kind of poking on over it so yes guys this is not a receding hairline so stop worrying about it and please stop commenting about it because that's just honestly not the case there were a few people that were just I'm sure a little bit confused there were others that were being willfully uh, ignorant and also spreading misinformation in fact I ended up deleting and blocking one guy uh, because he kept reporting comments that were debunking what he was saying uh, in order to obviously try and spread this myth so no minoxidil doesn't make it go bold I'm not going to do a whole video on it I've talked about it a million times before uh, but no that's a myth it can cause some temporary shedding which I also have a video on uh, which I will put up here in a card for you to go and check out but again it's temporary and nothing to worry about uh, so that's pretty much it on that particular topic. The next topic is, Adam, why haven't you shaved your beard since you stopped using Minoxidil? Uh, clearly, if you don't shave your beard, it doesn't prove that the gains stay or not. Well, that's fucking stupid. And if you believe that, you're a fucking idiot, quite frankly. And I'm sick of being nice and sugarcoating this with people because I've answered this so many times, I'm fucking sick of having to repeat myself. And it's one of the reasons that sometimes I feel like not making videos on this channel anymore. But to be quite honest with you, I'm obviously gonna continue to do that because I like updating you guys and showing that the gains do indeed stay. Now, here's the reason why that's so stupid to think that. The follicle is below the skin surface, so shaving it is going to have fuck all difference. It's no difference than trimming it, to be quite honest with you. If you shave it, it cuts it to the skin surface. The follicle, as I pointed out, is below the skin surface, so you're not affecting it in any way. In fact, if the hair continues to grow, it means that it's still connected to the dermal papilla, and that means that it's still fucking growing. So it doesn't matter whether you shave it or trim it or whatever. Now, the reason why I haven't shaved personally is out of personal preference. I like having a beard. I don't like being clean shaven. It's the whole reason why I did this journey in the first place. And I'm not just gonna shave my beard to satisfy some curiosity of some people who watch this YouTube channel. I'm sorry, but I also have my own life to live. So. Basic Ali's already done this before, he shaved at the end of his journey and his beard's all still there. So if you want an example of that, you can go and check out his videos. But I myself will not be shaving anytime soon. So if that's what you're sticking around to see, tough shit. I'm sorry, but that's just the case. The next thing to uh, talk to you guys about is uh, essentially, I had an idea that I wanted to put past you. Um, so for a while now, what I've wanted to do is actually increase the amount of chest hair that I have. Uh, but obviously, I've kind of dedicated to not using Minoxidil anymore. So what I had the idea of doing was waiting until about a year. Uh, and then once I've been a year off Minoxidil, that should be evidence enough, really, in my mind, that the gains do stay. Uh, and then to try a Minoxidil journey on my chest. However, I do realise that this is going to cause some people to think, well, the gains have only stayed, even though it's been a whole fucking years since you stopped because you're using minoxidil on your chest now and also my chest hair has increased a little bit anyway uh, in the past year not very much i've got barely fucking anything i've got a few hairs here or there but i thought it would also be just a good little uh, maybe new series on this channel so i'm going to put a little poll up here and let me know what you think whether 
whether I should do it or not. Uh, I am considering it, but also, like I said, I'm a little bit mindful of the fact that uh, it may cause some people to doubt whether the monoxidal gains have stayed or not, even though it would be quite stupid for them to doubt it at that point. But I still see people claim now that even though mono uh, basically used monoxidal on his scalp like twice after like a year and a half of stopping it, that his beard only remained because he used monoxidal twice on his scalp after stopping it. So you realise the kinds of people that sometimes we deal with and a lot of the naysayers Give me your opinions, your thoughts, uh, really appreciate it. So guys, I'm also not feeling really particularly well today, which is why I'm a little bit grumpy and also why I look a little bit dishevelled. I've just got back from work, uh, but yeah, not feeling great. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to show you my progress um, from when I've stopped using Minoxidil up until this point now uh, don't forget you can also find all of my journey videos on my youtube channel as well uh, so please don't forget to also add any comments questions queries or suggestions below because at the end of this uh, slideshow here you will be seeing the end card so thanks very much for those who have watched this point and here is my seven months off minoxidil